is up you guys my name is Oz Happy Jason welcome back to more videos if you have no idea who I am the chances are you're not subscribed that means you're not awesome you're not part of this awesome community which you should be because it's awesome and it'll make you happy and you'll be part of this chase thing whatever anyway today I have stuff to actually vlog today we set up the decorations yesterday so I'm gonna be showing you decorations and that's about it. Also, my hair is a mess because I just took a shower and now it's wet. So, I really need to cut my hair. Luna gets to run around because she has her diaper on. I was looking for candles to put in the Halloween lanterns and guess what? I found them! Now I'm going to go see if they work so I can put them in. And then, it's gonna look beautiful. Look at this. My mom got to hang her clothes. And now I have to do it. I really want to watch a movie called uh, Escape from Lemon Cello's Library. But it's about to get dark. And I haven't shown you the decorations yet. And I really need to show you the decorations. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to go watch the new movie that's on Nickelodeon. And then I'll tell you guys about it afterwards because I'm going to let you know if it's good or not. I'm not much of a critic myself, so chances are I'll enjoy it. Or I'll enjoy it, but I'll have some stuff to say about it. But we'll see. Anyway, let's go see my decorations. One thing we have here is we have lanterns that go all the way up the, the stairs. It was actually my idea. That's the lights I put in here. Two more lanterns are outside over there, which I'll show you right now, and we'll go see them. We have two of the lanterns right there that I placed outside. We have Welcome to Our Home sign. Uh, this we got for one of my aunt's baby showers, and we kept it. We have Batman, Dracula just hanging around, which... A mummy guy that says things, I'll probably, maybe the next vlog, I'll let you know what he says and everything. And we have a ghost mailbox. He's kind of just, he's old. He can't, he can't support himself. I have a spider that I made in daycare years ago. It's okay, I guess. We have flags. And then we have more flags over there. And even more flags. And even more flags. And we have a skeleton up there, which he shakes and tells you to let him out and everything. But chances are we're not going to turn him on until Halloween. And then, of course, we have a spider up there that goes up and down every time someone enters. But, of course, all these things are motion activated and are really sensitive to movement. So that's why we like to turn them on only during Halloween time. So we don't have to deal with them all the time. Another thing that we have is we have a giant blow-up ghost reaper that we haven't put up yet, which I'm hoping that we'll put up soon because I actually really like him. But he's like really, really big and I'm assuming we're probably also going to put him up during Halloween. I have no idea. Uh, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but here's this. We've had that up ever since last Halloween. And I guess we have no reason to take it down now because it's just up there and it's Halloween. More things, I don't know if there's more things I have to show you. I'll probably show you later of the lanterns lining up. But I have more things to say in this vlog. I'll probably say a little bit about the new movie of Nickelodeon. Also, I have a lot to say about the new Power Rangers Ninja Steel uh, trailers that came out. I have a lot to say about that. Uh, nothing bad. It's just something that I'm like really obsessing about right now. And I really want to express it to people who actually like Power Rangers. Not sure if you could tell, but like earlier, the sky was all orange and gray. And I took a picture and Warrior said that there was a fire in Anaheim. And part of it, like smoke and stuff, came all the way over here. Uh, luckily there's no ashes or anything, but some of it came over here. I don't know what caused the fire. There was a fire recently all the way in Santa Clarita. Uh, I just hope everyone's okay over there. Luckily we didn't get hit that badly, so we're good. And that's how the lanterns look when you light them all up. You probably can't really see that, can you? Oh well. They look really cool though in real life. I watched the new movie on Nickelodeon. I didn't like it that much at all. There was some parts that were kind of good, but I didn't, I didn't in the end I actually didn't even really like it. So 
that's just my opinion. I don't know if anybody else liked it. Let me know if you guys liked it in the comments. I don't know. I didn't like it at all. I honestly didn't. But, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you guys liked it. I have no idea. Anyway, let's talk Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Yeah, I know. So, in my, in my uh, opinion, I think that up to Power Rangers RPM, Power Rangers was always really good. After that, I kind of just, like... I feel like they kind of got lazy with how they made Power Rangers. Don't get me wrong, like, all of them were really good. Um, of course, they had some things I didn't like, but, you know, like, you know, I mean, with the new series. But, uh, and Power Rangers Ninja Steel, I actually really like it. I like all of them, of course. I like Samurai, Mega Force, Daniel's Charge, and Ninja Steel. I like all of them, but, of course, like, they're not as good as before. Because I feel like Saban's becoming a little bit lazy, but that's just my opinion in general. But let's talk Ninja Steel. So a trailer recently came out. Uh, one half of it showed one half of it showed that the last six episodes are going to come out. Uh, well, I guess you could say probably eight if you include the holiday ones. Anyway. They showed that, and then the rest of the half, they showed a somewhat part of the trailer, which is the rest of which is going to be Super Ninja Steel. And let me tell you, I'm kind of tired of these Super Ones, Super Samurai, Super Mega Force, Super Dino Charge, Super Ninja Steel. But I guess it's okay. I mean, they're okay. I just like, I'm kind of like the Super This, Super That. I miss one which just used to be all one season. And then in the middle of the season, then that's when they got super and like all that. But it wasn't really like cut in half. It was just the whole entire thing. It was something special. That's what I missed about it. But I guess they'd rather just cut it in half, I guess. But there's one thing. There's some things that I'm like really obsessing about when I saw the trailer. And one thing was like a new threat arises. And it shows Levi, a.k.a. Aiden. Because it's Levi Aiden. If you guys don't know that, that's basically Brody's brother. But we call him Levi. Uh, he has black eyes and he's evil for some reason. I have several theories, but, uh, I don't know if I should talk about it in, like, a different video. I'm going to talk about it real quick. I have several theories. One theory is that that lady, Madam, whatever her name is, uh, she's possessing Levi. The other thing is that Levi might become the new, the new, uh, so you know, like, when Trent was evil for a while, and I feel like that's going to happen to Levi, he's going to be evil for, like, a while, maybe, like, five episodes, and he's going to go back to normal as the Gold Ranger, or maybe someone's going to be the Gold Ranger until Levi turns back to good, or something like that, or I have no idea, but Levi is evil, I don't know if it's a clone, I kind of hope it's not a clone, I kind of hope it's Levi, but he got, like, mind-controlled, everyone's being possessed, so he's like he's being mind-controlled, and they have to save him, and... I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm obsessed more about that than I'm obsessed about the fact that Sledge is back. Because Sledge is back, which everyone's saying that there's going to be a Dino Charge collab, which I'm pretty sure there is. And not just that, but like in summer, there's going to be the 25th annual, which a bunch of Power Rangers are going to come, which Wes is probably going to come and like say day or something like I mean, like bring back Sledge back to life. You know that theory. Uh, if you guys don't know what that theory is, maybe I'll just like make a different video about it. Anyway, so I'm more obsessed about Levi being evil. I really want to know what's happening. Why is he evil? What is happening? If you guys know, if you guys know why he's evil, how he became evil, or how long he's been evil for, let me know in the comments below. I don't care about spoilers. I really want to know why he's evil. But that's all I had to say. Maybe I'll make a separate video about me ranting about it. It's not really a rant. I mean, just talking about it because I'm so obsessed about it right now. Because I really want to know why Levi is evil. I want to know so bad. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to go now. So remember, I love you guys forever and always. But I hope that I meet the Power Engineer Steel at LA Comic Con. I... The guy who plays Levi, he said he wasn't sure. He said he might go in LA Comic Con in the future, but I feel like they're going to come this year. I have no idea. But what, I don't know. But I just hope he comes. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.